Hello everybody, this is John Evans and you're watching another episode of Mid Mod Money, the show that teaches you how to buy and sell vintage items for a profit. Hey, thanks for tuning in to this very special episode. I say that in all seriousness because this is our giveaway first Monday of the month. Giveaway, free vintage giveaway. So I will be giving away a vintage item at the end of this program. Uh, and the, the only thing you need to worry about is being a subscriber to Mid Mod Money and commenting on this video by midnight Pacific time. And you can win what I'm about to show you. So uh, let's get to the reason we're here, which is to uh, show these thrift store hauls. So uh, to give you a better understanding of what to keep an eye out for, what to, uh, what to uh, look for when you're out there thrifting so the first thing i found was this amazing creature this beautiful 1960s coffee pot it's a percolator really percolates it's by proctor silex it has a uh, light to dark ratio thing there and it looks like it belongs in a uh, a laboratory if uh if I'm being honest, I mean, look at this thing. It looks very, very, what is that, a beaker? I mean, that's uh, amazing. Look at this thing. But it was only two dollars. Two American dollars at my Goodwill. Now, I have not run coffee through this yet because uh, with the price of everything, coffee, a pot of coffee is too valuable. At this, not really. I just haven't had time to uh, test this out, and I want to because I think it probably still works. This stuff is built to last, and if it does work, it's worth probably thirty dollars. Even if it doesn't, as a decoration, someone who's into the mid-century stuff would totally buy this, and uh, it's probably still worth twenty bucks. So uh, cross our fingers and see what I've got there. Maybe it'll work. Next thing I found definitely works. I know that because I've had it plugged in. This light, this desk lamp. We've talked about this on this show. These desk lamps sell the weirder, the better. And it doesn't even have to be weird. It can be just color. If it has orange or green or uh, yellow, those sell really well. The fact that this has the box is great. Uh, no barcode, so you know it's kind of late 70s, pre-barcode era and the shame of it is is this plain color this makes it about a twenty dollar lamp i paid three at goodwill so i'm gonna make seventeen dollars on the lamp nothing to nothing to brag about but you know slow and steady uh, as we always say around here you know steady profits what we're looking for next thing i found at a buck a piece were these, uh, what are these, gazelles on here? What is that, an antelope of some, some kind of ibex? What is that? Is that an ibex? Hi, man. What is, is that one of them ibex? No, this, these are uh, mid-century modern glasses. Very cool design. The fact that all the paint is still on there, the gold, the black, has not come off. These at a buck a piece are a steal. Actually, any good looking mid century glasses, a buck a piece, you can pretty much say you're going to do okay on the other end. I bought five of them. I wish there were six. There is not six, there is five. But I still think I can get 22 bucks for five, which again, you know, it's like $17 uh, profit. Not bad. And hey, wait a minute. Speaking of glasses, if we're going to. If we're really going to talk about glasses. Now here's the glasses that I found that are spectacular. These, this is a set of eight rose glasses for four dollars. Four bucks. And the, the, the paint on the glasses is perfect. There are some nips and chips on the carrier, but that's to be expected. This is 1960s barware in perfect condition the glasses are amazing for this to be four dollars i mean this really is why i round up at goodwill because you find things like this that are so ridiculous you're like yeah i i round up all the time but especially when you you're finding this this is a 40 to 50 dollar set of vintage glasses for four bucks and I think it's probably closer to that $50 number. So I couldn't grab that fast enough. I was so, 
so excited to find the the 60s barware and and this is where it gets great because the next two things i find are well they're real showstoppers first up i've had owl cookie jars on this show sure but ha i don't think i've ever had one with the the baby on top the mom this and this was two dollars and fifty cents which is unbelievable because on the bottom there's a Japan sticker and it says O uh C wait O to Gary I think it's O to Gary O to Gary O C G or O T C O M C that's it I just I just don't want to turn it over it's O M C O to Gary Manufacturing Company and um it says hand painted there's a sticker that says hand painted on the side uh, this is probably a $50, uh, cookie jar. Really great, uh, owl stuff sells. We've talked about that. And this is probably 70s, uh, and, you know, just darn cute. That's what's going to sell it. It's a really cute, authentic 70s cookie jar. Now, uh, here's a lesson to uh, everyone. Get to know the people at thrift stores because at the same thrift store, Christian Crossing, uh, one of the ladies said, well, did you see the other owl jar? And I go, no. And she took me to it. And it was this owl cookie jar. I mean, look at this. This thing is like 16 to 18 inches tall. This is massive. And it was five bucks. Now, I haven't attributed this to any company. Uh, I haven't seen another one, or I can't compare it to anything, but I know that it's old, and I know that it's probably in that in that fifty dollar area. And for to find two cookie jars, I found these on the same day. So a uh, hundred dollars worth of cookie jars for seven bucks on the same day. Christian Crossing in Maryland. Wow, that is a. Whew. I'm not going to ship this. This I will sell in my booth at the antique mall because I will not ship glass that big. Okay, so let's look at everything I, I found. Uh, $24.50 is what I spent. $24.50 uh, when it's all said and done through eBay, Facebook Marketplace, my booths at the antique mall. I'm looking at 204 bucks. 204 off 24. That's good. That's 180 bucks profit. Let's go. Uh, and you can do it too. Anybody uh, that has Google Lens, that has a working automobile, that has access to eBay and the internet, uh, you can do it too. So uh, keep, And keep watching my show, Mid Mod Money. I will point out the obvious uh, things to find. Uh, so let's get to what we're here for, which is the uh, the giveaway, the free vintage giveaway. And I love doing this because... I like free stuff. Everybody likes free stuff, right? I mean, so, and I like vintage stuff. So free, vintage, two of my favorite things, free and vintage. So uh, as you can tell from my uh, my set design here, I, I love color. I love things from the 60s and 70s, positivity, rainbows, mushrooms, butterflies. Uh, so um, I, as something that I'm going to give today is definitely in that style of home decor and if you like this style of home decor you will definitely want to win this and this is what it is it is a little placard from the 1970s that says happy today with a great big old smiley face sun and a bird singing a just a pretty little song now now look at this it also look what it does it comes out like that you put it on your desk you know, when, when your co-workers come up, you go, nope, 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 nope. happy today, read the sign. And it's definitely like a hallmark from, I'm guessing, the uh, late 70s. Looks like a late 70s. This like paint looks like all original. It's not in perfect shape, but it's really cool. And uh, you could uh, you just put that in your house. Home decor, courtesy. Next time you see it, you'll go, that guy gave me this, and I love it. So... Um, that's what's at stake, people. Comment on this episode and you can win this. I'll send this directly to your home. Courtesy Mid Mod Money, thanks for watching the show today. And remember, always round up.